as the country grapples with high fuel prices that triggered skyrocketing commodity prices, inflation and rising public debt, government officials say the situation will not go out of hand. The permanent secretary to the Ministry of Finance, Ramadan Gobi, says what hit the country was a global phenomenon due to COVID-19 and the Russia-Ukraine war. He says the global supply of commodities and raw materials was heavily disrupted. He says government has used evidence-based approach and good fiscal and economic policies to address the challenges despite criticism from the civil society. We avoided measures that could lead to longer-run distortions. These are the ones which I was talking about. That common sense can tell you if you provide subsidies to buyers of fuel, you will support them to access fuel at affordable prices. That is wrong economics. The best policy to respond is to ensure that the low supply of goods corresponds to low demand of those goods. That's why government has managed expenditure now. Are the responses currently we are following, are they likely to get us out of these shocks and recover our economy? I think for me is that we need much more than what we are doing. So whereas the Bank of Uganda is, has increased the CBI rate so that it, we cannot borrow more money from the banks. And the Ministry of Finance has also cut expenses so there is less money in circulation to deal with inflation. For me, I think one of the things we need to do is first invest heavily in the production. This was during a forum by the International Growth Center in partnership with the Finance Ministry to share and find solutions that would boost economic growth. Gobi says Ugandans need not to worry about Uganda's public debt because it's manageable as per Uganda's fiscal charter. That's why we need to start looking at the debt service more than the debt to GDP. So how much of the revenue we collect is spent on servicing the debt. Government has hopes to increase domestic revenue to help address a number of financial challenges. Although revenue is still low, however, civil society activists think this is not sustainable. Uh, in order to finance public investment, Uganda is going to have to mobilize more tax revenue. Tax revenue is a share of GDP are actually quite low relative to other countries with similar per capita income to Uganda. Tax revenues are necessary to finance public investment. And the question I always ask is, for us as farmers, when and if you, are, you have a cow and you are, it is a milking cow, you do not joke with your milking cow. There's no way you can say, um, I want more milk from this cow, so I'll bring a better milker as in a person who milks the cow. Instead, what you do is you bring more feed for this cow so that you can get more milk. So I've always wondered if it has ever occurred to all, everybody who is interested in taxes, that instead of building, uh, uh, building URA, it would be much better if they built the private sector. The country recently experienced tragic flash floods in Mbale. The country has been advised to take the issue of climate change with keen interest because it has disrupted output in production. We are not investing enough in environmental, in the climate change. Why do I say so? Is When I see my government licensing companies in free zones, in the wetland areas, then it gives a signal to all other private players also to invest in wetlands. And as such, I think government must put a stop to that and reclaim these particular areas. Victoria Sechitoleko, the former Minister of Agriculture, trashed government's move to merge the Uganda Coffee Development Authority again with the Ministry of Agriculture, saying this is going to have a problematic result to the coffee sector. Uh, emphasis is being given to coffee. So I'm wondering, did our government listen to that? Is that why they are thinking we close UCDA? Since Maif is moving at snail, space, uh, snail speed, we take UCDA there so that we slow them down a bit. We have never sold 8 million bags of coffee in a, in a year. Now we are there, we have just got them there. And to say thank you to UCDA, we shift them off to Maif. Some of these things I don't understand, but then again, I'm an old woman.